The Baltimore City Police Union president is calling out city leaders, saying they're not prioritizing public safety. The union saying some BPD officers will now be providing security at Orioles games instead of patrolling the streets. Fox 45's Jessica Babb is showing us how this could put a strain on an already short department. Jessica. The letter says BPD is already short about like 700 drive, officers and says many are already forced to work overtime just to make sure shifts are covered. Now the union president is saying city leaders need to adjust their priorities. Understaffed and overworked. Available. It's been an ongoing problem plaguing Baltimore City Police. Jason Johnson, the former deputy commissioner, says. I think it's pretty dire because, again, the only way they can compensate for the loss of of, of manpower in the police department is by overtime. But to make it worse, this public safety alert says decisions from city leaders to use BPD officers to provide security at Baltimore Orioles games instead of patrolling the streets puts an even bigger strain on the officer shortage. In the letter, Baltimore City Police Union President Mike Mancuso says on any given day, since they're down about 700 officers, every shift is short. He says in some cases, 50% short, in part because officers are underpaid and working conditions that are, quote, abysmal. In January, Commissioner Worley saying this shortage doesn't change his crime fighting strategy. Our strategy is to do more with less just like we did in 2023. But Mancuso says in this case officers need to be in the field instead of at Orioles games. He says city and departmental leadership need to adjust their priorities and should be ashamed of themselves. But BPD responding in an email saying the large number of people in attendance at Orioles games does create a public safety need. They also say officers can volunteer pick up uniformed off-duty assignments like Orioles games when they're not working for BPD. They say all officers have access to these assignments through a third-party app, but they say the FOP has strongly advised members not to sign up. They also say when officers are assigned to Camden Yards, they're mainly from non-operational or administrative positions. They say the Orioles and Stadium Authority are billed by the department to recover the costs of the officers assigned. I know the commission is going to be meeting with the president. Uh, we wish that those kind of conversations could have happened beforehand. Mayor Brandon Scott also saying these claims aren't accurate. No patrol officers should be uh, dedicated to the, to the stadium. This is about administrative officers and that there's all there's a system uh, that the officers are supposed to sign up for to do the overtime and things here at the game. And he's going to be meeting with uh, the FOP president and leadership to make sure that they have the full understanding of what's happening so there's no misconception. And I have reached out to the city to see if those conversations have happened and if so, what the outcome was. As of now, I'm still waiting to hear back. Live in Baltimore, Jessica Babb, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.